Hey guys, this is Bo. We're back in the house again in Z Sports Lounge. We've been covering so much football. I'm almost footballed out, but thank goodness the season's almost over so we can get moving on. The season that we're coming into right now is basketball. And right now we got one of the best who got promoted to her position at Monmouth University, Michelle Baxter. How you doing, coach? Good. How you doing, Bo? Good, real good. Tell us what's going on with the you know new promotion for you. Oh, it's exciting. Um, I was the assistant coach here for a few years, and then when the previous head coach left, um, I was offered the position and took it. It's it's going great. We were very young these last couple of years, but this year we have five seniors and five juniors, so hopefully this will be the year for us. Now tell us a little bit about when you say young. Young is maturity or young is play or just the fact that they're freshmen and sophomores? Well, the last two years we've had um, just one senior, and it's a little tough with, with leadership issues when – you know, you've just been young, and at one time we had 10 freshmen and sophomores on our roster, and it was just tough leadership-wise trying to get someone to step up and take that role. And how important is that leadership role, and what do you look for as far as taking over the squad? Um, the leadership role, it is very important because, you know, that leader is my hand out on the court. If I don't have that on the court – you know, taking control of the game, um, it's tough because then it relies on me and I'm not on the floor. In, in tight games, you the player who wants the ball in those situations to take the final shot, and sometimes without that leadership, you, you fumble sometimes at the end of games. Yeah, it feels comfortable, comforting when you see the person on the floor and all you're doing is doing encouraging because you know that you've got the squad on the floor all you got to do is clap, cheer them, say good job, and watch the back. And then, you, then the point guard or the power forward takes over and really starts implementing the program. Yeah, and you're right. And what I also look for in a leader is exactly what you're saying, the enthusiasm. I mean, I can be excited on the bench and I can be pumped up, but if I don't have someone out on the floor that's doing that as well, it also you know can be a difficult task because a lot of the game – is has a lot of highs and lows and a lot of uh, adrenaline and if you don't have players out on the floor who can create that it can be a long night sometimes and i think one of the things that you can speak about is the transition from high school player to college player and the kind of changes that the high school players think they can handle until they actually get in a game situation and realize that the game is significantly stepped up yeah and it really is because what happens especially at the division one level is you get pretty much the best players on their high school team and now they're all coming in as being the star and everybody else on the team here has also been the star um and it's tough and i think the other thing that's really happening with women's basketball is it's become such a fast game and such a physical game and i really don't think most high schools you know, it's just not at that level yet and it's a big adjustment for our young people coming in to play that type of game yeah and I, I you know i would not let me back up here i'm stammering here because i'm trying to get this out in the in the best way possible now when i was a kid growing up i played basketball and i was okay my two sisters who were younger than i was played really well and i was so proud of them and i did follow the ncaa tournament just a wee bit and to be honest with you i really didn't focus on women's athletics until just a couple years ago my daughter started playing basketball and i started researching and looking at things and I volunteer to help out with the team and realize that there's still a lot of stigmatism in women's athletics. I was kind of shocked, and so we've sort of taken on the head to follow up on the women's program. I could not believe that some of the parents, when we were working with them and their kids, all of them said they wanted to play high school. I coached high school, so I knew kind of what they were looking for. And when I finally set in place about the fundamentals, I started hearing things from some of the parents who had no concept of what it was going to be like in high school saying they want to have fun. I hate the word fun. I want to hear enjoyment. I want Enjoyment in the game is learning how to play. Speak to some of those transitional changes when they start getting into the um, university level. Yeah, and you're exactly right because – and, and you got to be real careful when you're out recruiting because that's what happens. A, a lot of young ladies, you know, it's just a different game, and they don't realize the commitment it takes once you get to college. Um, and it is hard work, and it is a lot of hours, but it, it is about the enjoyment. And you have to really love the game of basketball and working hard every minute that you're in the gym 
to make it a success because if you do not and you're just in it because it's something to do in high school, you will not survive at Division One level. And, and that does happen sometimes. We, we've been pretty fortunate going out and finding players who are passionate about basketball, so we haven't had much problems here. But I've talked to other people in other programs where players have left because it was just too much work for them. And I think some of that goes to the high school because it just seems like there are players and parents who get it in their daughter's program. And the same way they got it as the guys. I don't mean to say guys and girls are different, but it seems like if you go to a guy's program in basketball and you put demands and you're verbal and you get them going and you're in their face, it's all good. But when you get that same brand of girls at that age, you got some parents who get it, and a lot of them are like, well, you know, you might be a little hard on them. Uh, this is a running sport, ma'am. Um, we do run a lot, and uh, it's kind of challenging at times, and I can see why coaches in high school and in a college level sometimes have issues, but... I see that in the ladies' ranks how good they're becoming. The shooting, the the fundamentals, the execution of the X's and O's is phenomenal. It's 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 a different game than it was ten years ago. Oh, it definitely is. And actually, uh, before I came here to coach at Monmouth, um, I'd been at Tallahassee Community College for two years with the women's program. But before that, in South Florida, I coached. Um, boys high school for 10 years and it is a different game and you were able to get up in players faces especially the guys to motivate them to get them going and i found girls are a little bit different in that regard um you know some of them still have that personality to where you can can get up in their faces and get them going and then i'll have others with a different personality that will break down and cry so it, it's really it's really uh, a touch-and-go type thing, and it, I, I really had to work making that adjustment from boys to women, and it was, uh, but, but, but it's working. Like I'm saying, you can find out who you you have to be tough with and who you're softer with, and, uh, but it, it's a challenge every day with women. You know, I agree with you that the game has really stepped up, um, big X's and O's type they become much more athletic. Once again, I said it's more of a speed game with the 30-second shot clock as opposed in high school where you can run your play over and over and over to get exactly what you want. Um, but but it's exciting. Like I said, it's, it's really changed in 10 years, and it's um, – it's been great for women's basketball. I think there's been a lot more more parity, much like the men anymore. Now let's back up a little bit. I wanted to get your feedback as far as the reaction they had and on a woman coach running a bunch of guys. Uh, how was the response? It was it was great, and actually, the, I had less problem probably with the the actual players themselves as opposed to other coaches. I remember I coached an AAU team as well, um, and we had went to a national tournament in Orlando, and I was the only female coach there. Very loaded team. I had a mixture of Broward County um, players from public schools and private schools, and we did great. We won the whole tournament, and everyone was very nice before the game, but I actually had games where men would not shake my hand after the game. And I found, you know, and, and, and it's pretty much, uh, you know, it, it's changed some since then. Like, you'll, you'll see a few more women that are coaching boys basketball. and But but to me, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed those times. I never, I've never had a problem with one of the guys, you know, you know. And I've even worked camps where I, I didn't know the guys at all and high school levels. And, and it worked very well. I think, and, I think what it comes down to it is that you actually know what you're talking about, or you may not know exactly because they're guys, but what you're saying is right, and they understand that once they get by it. I'm sure there was some uh, a put off at first, but then you started talking and showing them, and you went went through the motions, and they finally said, "Oh yeah, she knows what she's talking about. All right, this is good. 